Hello, Ian here from Bad Blades Workshop. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one we're painting a uh, occupier tank from Star Wars Legion. Okay, so for this one, I, I didn't want to go with the, the colour scheme in the, the Rogue One film, if you've seen that. That's where the, the occupier tank makes his appearance. Um, because all my Star Wars stuff has got a desert theme, and I'm, I'm doing a Scarif uh, theme board at the minute, I thought let's do it in desert colours. So I'm using the, the Dunkel Gelb uh, modulation set from ammo by MIG and it's going to be very heavily <laughs> weathered, uh, chipped and grime and everything so uh, I'm going to cover everything so hope you enjoy it, let's get into it. Okay so starting off with a, a prime tank we're going to put some modulation on there so you'll need a, a dark grey, a mid grey and a light grey. This is only to get some variation in the, the chips that we have, uh, we'll be doing a hairspray method, so we need to just some different colour chips underneath. And um, this isn't uh, this isn't necessary. You can just use it from the grey base coat, uh, the grey primer. So I'm putting the shadows in towards the bottom of each panel, as you can see here, and then we'll uh, put the mid tone in next to that. So that'll be blended into the, the dark shadow area and that's just to get uh, you know a nice transition going and then we'll put the highlight layer towards the top of each section so as I say you know you can skip this section if you want to it's just um, I'm a fussy bugger and I like different colors in the chips Okay, next up is the loading area of the tank. Uh, I wanted to do a rusty scheme on this, but it just looked just as good using brown. Um, but I wanted the rust, so added in some scrag brown, uh, moving up to orange, and then finally a little bit of yellow. Uh, these stencil brushes are really good for this technique, so I'll, I'll try and put a link in the description below where you can get them from eBay. Really useful. Okay, next up is to give it a couple of sprays with hairspray. Um, two to three even coats should do you fine before we add on to the um, the, uh, the Dunkel Gelb modulation set. So this is the main colour of the tank. It's by Ammo by MIG. We're starting off with a Dunkel Gelb base. Uh, this is applied to the whole model. Nice even coat. In retrospect, I wouldn't have gone over the, uh, the rusty areas. I would have just left them as they are. Next up is the, the dark base. So we're going to be applying that to where we applied the dark grey earlier in the modulation part of it. So this is all the shadow areas down at the bottom of each panel. And then we move on to the the light base then for the, the highlight colours. As you can see, this is going up towards the top parts of the panel. Um, and then along the sides and alongside the, the loading area. Um, I did, just did individual panels there rather than just doing a broad highlight. So we've got a bit of shadow either side of it. So next up is the highlight. And that is quite a bright color. So go easy on this one. And it's just the, the extreme tops of, uh, of each panel. And that's your modulation. So next done. up is the chipping. So you want some warm water um, and a brush. So apply that to the, the model and that activates the, the hairspray layer. And start removing the paint with, uh, I use a stipple brush here and a toothpick if you want some scratches on there and just do it to the level of chipping that you want. I, I was going hardcore, really worn. <laughs> next up. Uh, another fun uh, layer is the uh, the grime. Um, I'm just applying some odorless thinner here uh, with a flat brush and uh, you want just a, a damp glistening covering to start with. You don't want to soak it and then um, just leave that a few seconds before you start applying the streaking grime. 
and uh, you want synthetic brushes for this so uh, you don't want to ruin your sable brushes doing this kind of work and uh, I tend not to use the same brush for applying the thinners as I do the streaking grime so just treat yourself to a couple of synthetic flat brushes <coughs> and what you what you do then is try to move it around so you're um, effectively using it as a pin wash at the same time um, so you move it around getting it into the recesses and around each little panel and then uh, you can leave that for a few minutes or so um, some people leave it you know, for an hour and come back to it but uh, because it's an enamel product uh, you haven't, you've got a really long working time on this so then uh, I'll get a flat brush then and uh, dip it into the, the enamel thinners, wipe it on a paper towel and then starting to remove uh, the excess of the streaking grime. And think about where you want um, streaks. <laughs> so you're working down the panels and leaving a little bit of the grime still there. Uh, you don't want to remove everything um, that you've applied so you can see everything's like a darker tone but you do get streaks in there as well and try to leave a like a, a line around each little panel as well so that'll give you a nice little bit of definition going there as well so just keep going um, until you're happy and then do the same process around the tank and uh, you should have a quite a nice effect then Okay, so I got a bit excited and forgot to do the red stripe. So I'm just going through the stages again with the the grey paint as the base coat, then the hairspray, then adding on the red, gave it a highlight and a shadow, same as before. And then uh, we did the, the chipping to get it back to where it should be. So it's all uniform now. All right, so next up is pigments. Uh, these are the two I've picked out because they go with my desert themed uh, paint job and also it goes with the, the stormtroopers that I did a few months ago, uh, keeping the theme going. And uh, I usually tip them into a, a box that I use. Uh, it saves me going into the jar that they come from. And again, a synthetic brush. So I'm concentrating it into uh, any grooves and crevices on the vehicle and then I'll use a, f a makeup brush then uh, to apply it for a more general coverage and uh, just work work my way around the vehicle once you've done that you can go straight away uh, back in with some thinners um, I dip my makeup brush into thinners just just a damp brush uh, don't I want too much uh, thinners on your brush at this stage and start removing the pigment in areas where you, you don't really want that much of a build up yeah it'll get covered in dust but you, you got to remember that it will be removed from you know wear and tear you know personnel getting on and off the vehicle and stuff like that so just keep removing the pigment until you're you know, you're happy with the coverage you don't want an even coverage of dust you want you know patches here and there you want to keep it in the crevices and you want to see some of the paintwork as well so once you are happy with the the amount of pigment that you've got on there we need to start about start thinking about fixing it and uh, how you go about that is using the odorless thinner again or you can use uh, white spirit or something like that I, as again I, I only use this stuff to uh, keep the peace in the house <laughs> and um, just load up your brush I might I'll pour it into the cap of the the bottle that it comes with and um, I use that as a reservoir and just dip my brush in and then dab it onto the tank and it works via uh, capillary action then to you know, like like I wouldn't say flood the area it, uh, it it floods it for a certain amount but you know you've got to make sure that you cover everything and get every part of the pigment and it should fix it into place all right so the pigments uh, fixed into place uh, they're not going anywhere the only other thing you need to do are the the weapons to the side what i normally do is use a, a dark metal 
and add quite a bit of black to it and then I'll dry brush then with a, a light grey uh, just to pick out the details there's, there's no great technique to it and I don't think uh, you need to spend that much time doing them either so it's the same with the main weapon there the the crew I use uh, the same uh, techniques as the stormtroopers you'll find that tutorial on the channel as well if you wanted to do that but again there's there's nothing major involved with that either the other thing that comes with the kit are the kyber crystals so we'll pause it and zoom in okay so i did them blue um because i wanted rust and blue's obviously a complementary color to orange and uh, if i did them red and orange like they were in the film i'd have to go with a really dark brown color rust and i i like uh, i like orange rust so that's my thinking <laughs> so you get about three of them with the kit as well but these are little additions that i got 135 scale um equipment that you can get for tanks and stuff like that so it's just a bedroll and uh, a couple of wooden crates and they sit on the back of the tank the other thing are these stormtroopers that are stuck on with blue tacks just for keeping them in place while i spin the tank around um eagle eyed amongst you will notice that this is actually the the kneeling bottom half of the stormtrooper that comes in the the up, not the upgrade pack the the standard one and uh, you cut off the that leg reposition it with green stuff and cut off the foot because the foot is actually pointing down when he's kneeling you need to cut it off and then reposition it in the right position and the the top half i've swapped it with the the spare top half that you get with the dew back and uh, I think it goes quite well actually so I've done a few stormtroopers that uh, are seated now and uh, that is definitely the easiest way to go is cutting up the kneeling one but failing that you need to see that his foot is still pointing down from the kneeling position so it looks it looks kind of good with him against the the side of the tank anyway so i left that in place with the other guy which is this one what we need to do is pick the, the stormtrooper with this position and then cut off the legs at the hips and then at the knees as well and then you can reposition with green stuff but I suggest you do the hips first and then once the once the green stuff is dry there you can put a bit of green stuff in there and then add on the the shin or the lower leg and uh, they look pretty good so let me get the the tank back on screen Okay, so that's how I did my occupier tank. Obviously, it's not the same color scheme as the one in Rogue One, but it's a similar desert setting. So obviously, we went for the the Africa Core style paint job, and uh, I quite like it. Unashamedly, um, I've actually started a second one. If I zoom out. And uh, that's coming along nicely as well. So that's it uh, for me for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. As always, if you get stuck on anything, give us a shout in the comments below. Uh, try and help you out as much as I can. Um, but that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.